This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Shout out to CatBeast.com for sponsoring the video. Make sure you go check them out. Link in the description. Also, if you like different content, different games, make sure you go check out Brother Jones Live. Link in the description. I'm putting in the comment section below. If you like different games and different gameplays of me trying different stuff out, make sure I go sub to that channel. We gonna have Madden and all kind of lit stuff. Turn sub and turn on the noties, bro. Sub and turn on the noties. What up, brother Jones here, man? I'm about to give y'all some shooting badges, man, to help y'all maximize your shooting in part. If you're a glass lock or a point guard, I'm gonna help both y'all out. Now I tell all my glass lock to do this exact shooting setup that I got. And I'm going to show you what I got, man, because I'm an elite. I, I'm telling you, I'm an elite shooter. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can say whatever you want about me, but I am always a, I'm a good shooter on every single build I ever play on. Since the beginning of 2K, I always, I'm always a good shooter, bro. Like, you can ask anybody that plays with me. I, I'm going to knock down. I'm knocked down in Pro-Am. I'm knocked down in Rec, knocked down in Park. So you can trust Brother Jones, all right? You can trust me that these badges will help you maximize your shooting. If you're a glass lock and spotting up, or if you're doing like what I'm doing, you ISO. If you ISO, you want you want to be able to pull up and strong and people eyes just like that, man. Just like that, 15% don't make you no difference. You know what I'm saying? 15% don't make you no difference. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing, what I got set up. Now I got quick draw gold. I'm gonna show y'all it on Holly in the clip, but I have it on gold now. I put it on gold now. Just a, just a quick tip in case you see any inconsistency you see my glass locks money too because i ain't put them on i put them on the system i put them on the system so it will help all of y'all so i'm about to help y'all boys out leave a like sub if you new, man all right so let's take a look at the badges man so the badges i'm gonna start off with fury center i'm gonna start off with the centers first i'm gonna show my big guys some love because what y'all know i'm gonna need the most help so i'm gonna show the centers love first then I'm gonna get into guard. Now, if you are a glass lock, you got about 17, 16 shooting badges. I'm about to show you right now what you should upgrade. So, first thing you should upgrade is catch and shoot bronze. 2K Lab literally dropped a video the other day talking about how catch and shoot bronze helps out 73 pointers and he give like a huge boost. And ain't that much of a difference between this and Holly for you. So they say you should put it on bronze if you got like a 73 ball. So we're gonna keep that. 2 Caleb also said silver corner is the way to go. So make sure you got on silver corner. You need silver corner, silver catch. Alright? These two already giving you a good advantage, in my opinion. So bronze catch, silver corner. If you're spot up or you need to shoot in your glass like bow. This is what you're gonna need, man. Cause everybody needs shooting glass locks. Like just even if you use screen, you still gonna need it. For the next thing, we're gonna of course you're gonna need quick draw holly. Because you're a center, you know. You, you're gonna have a slow jump and you're gonna need that holly. This I put at silver range. I feel like silver range is good enough. You can put it holly if you want to, but I feel like silver, I mean if as a big glass lock, you ain't gonna really need to pull that deep. You just need it to so you can shoot at the three and a little bit behind it. And you should be straight. Bro. You should be straight. Now, hot zone hunter. This clearly depends on if you got hot zones. I, if you have a lot of hot zones, I wouldn't even put it above silver, honestly. Because hot zones in this game, they so fluky, man. Like one game you, you got a bunch, next game you don't. So I wouldn't even put too much emphasis on hot zone anymore. Even though I think it's one of the best bats in the game. I put this joint on bronze or silver if I was here. I wouldn't even like have it too high. So we'll, put, we'll keep it on silver. Now green machine is a good bat. Alright, that's a good bat. You want green machine. Green machine is a double. You gonna want green machine. Cause if you green one time, you're gonna want to green again and keep going. That's how people be greening back to back. You can even put that on Holly if you want to. Now, flexible. If you shoot air balls often, put this on. There are some of y'all who shoot air balls often. Y'all shoot them on early and you get them air balls. If that's you, you put on flex. If you don't shoot air balls, then don't worry about it. But if you know to shoot air balls sometimes, turn that on and you won't shoot air balls anymore. Or as often. 
it reduces the penalty of that. It, it, Cause they make it flexible a thing now, if y'all didn't know. Flexible, if you don't have flexible, and you shoot air balls, put that joint on and you will not shoot as many air balls. I just helped you out. You and it. Next thing we gonna talk about, I'ma say volume, you can put it bronze. You know what I'm saying? You might take a couple shots. If, you, if you're ice on and you got a spot up, this bronze or silver will help him out. I'll probably keep it on bronze and then I'll finish it off with bronze hot start because hot start is a good bag. It helps out a lot. But it works the best on silver. This is if you have 18 shoot bags. This also works well if you have a rebound of wing or a like a lockdown that can shoot. I'd recommend this setup. Don't worry about it. Where the Hollies at? Trust me. Hollies are overrated in this game. Trust me. Hollies are overrated. I've already proven this correct. Hall, Hall of Fames are cool. You don't if you don't want hot star, you could do something like that. You know that that could work too. If you got a lot of hot zone, you don't believe in hot star, you can do this setup. This also is effective. You don't want that, you can put it put it on Green Holly. Green Holly could work too. But honestly, if I was you, I if I was a glass like I could it on flexible just in case. Sometimes you time stupid jumpers. You can also put it on Dead Eye too. Dead Eye also will help, but we only got 17, 16, so most likely you're gonna have all these other guys if you were a wing or a guard. So you're gonna have about 16, 15, this between 15 and 17. So this is what I would do if I was you. You know what I'm saying? If I have a guard. Honestly, hold on. No, that's what I would do. My bad. That's what I would do. So now let's talk about if you are a offensive threat or playmaking shot creator or the slashing sharp eye chart and you got about 20. This is what I now if you're offensive threat, I wouldn't even I take corner completely off. You're not gonna shoot corner shots. Catch and shoot is debatable. You really don't need that. But I have it on mine, just in case. Now I have I keep hot zone hunter silver. I have Hall of Fame range. And quick draw. That's like a must if you would go. You need those two. You need those two. I put volume on silver, hot start on silver, dead eye bronze, green holly. This is my setup, and I'm let me tell you, bro, I'm cash. I don't really miss. Hot start silver is is good, bro. 2K Lab already confirmed that hot start silver is one of the best ones to start. That or Hall of Fame. But silver is good enough. With this, if you hit a shot, even if it's a white, it's going in. When you shoot again, if it's a white, sometimes it might go in again. Because now you got, you got the hot start and you got volume. Let's say you green your third one. You still keeping hot start, volume, and now green machine's activated. You know what I'm saying? And you shoot the fourth one, you might shoot another white. But guess what? Hot zone and volume. Listen, I don't know why, but this these two combos give you so many white releases that go in now it will help you hit your whites all right i'm not saying you should aim for white releases let's say you green the first one you green one up oh, there you go you already starting off good you green the second one you starting off good because now green machine hot start and volume and hot zone if it's in hot zone and range all kicking in so trust me this is a good setup for y'all boys man y'all should do this setup for you for your uh Offensive threats, you play making shot creators. This will be honestly what you want. You can take catch off. If you took it off, you can put it. You, I wouldn't put that going. You can put that up there. You can uh put dead eye higher. Cause dead eye, like it depends on your shot selection. Dead eye's a good badge, bro. Like dead eye's underrated. Dead eye's a really good badge. It helps you hit in people's eyes. Uh, if you have more than 20. You can put dead eye gold and you can add it to catch or you can add it to hot hot zone but i would not even put hot zone higher than bruh at this point the way these hot zones are i wouldn't even put that joint higher than silver because it's too you have one bad game it's gone i wouldn't even i'm not even putting that at high tier anymore that's on y'all though but hopefully man i helped y'all out figure y'all badges out bro let me know if y'all need help with any other badges. Y'all need defensive badges. I got it now. I know I know what the best defensive badges are now. I got you. Let me know what y'all need, man. To next video. I see y'all.